After we wrap up our discussion about the shape of PPF, now we're stepping into the discussion of the shape of the PPF. So it's pretty much like what we already did in chapter 4. Remember, we derive the shape of the demand curve and the supply curve, right? Downward sloping demand and upward sloping supply. And then we put them together and shaped them. Okay, So uh, we're following the same kind of um, the methodology. Okay, And um, after the discussion of the shape, now we're going to talk about the shift okay, of the PPF. If you remember... Um, when we started our discussion of the PPF, we made a bunch of assumptions. Among them, um, one assumption says the total amount of each factor in this economy is fixed. In other words, when you look at number of workers, long, um, the amount of machinery, equipment, tools, land, and technologies, they're all fixed economy-wide, okay? That's why we said that it's kind of the static analysis. Here, we're going to relax that assumption. In other words, we are going to say that these factors can change, especially in the long term, okay? So we're going to see what will happen because of that, all right? And... Um, the first example is the Industrial Revolution um, took place in England. During that Industrial Revolution, we find that many new equipments, um, new tools or machineries were invented. Among them, um, these two are probably the most uh, famous examples. So. Um, they are the steam engine and spinning jenny. Okay? Again, because of the invention of these new machinery equipments, we find that England um, was able to produce a lot more than before. Now, how could we show that on the PPF? Okay? Um, let me switch to uh, the whiteboard. So here, because, um, you know, the example does not specify what England produced, okay? So we just simply put X on the horizontal axis and Y on the vertical axis. Um, these are two general um, goods or services, okay? So you can put, you know, A or B or X1, X2, whatever you prefer, okay? Um, or you can replace them with a very specific examples like cars and potatoes we used before, okay? All right, so here we already put the PPF um, pre-industrial revolution on the graph, okay? Remember, you're supposed to label the axis and the, the curves um, carefully. Now, with the new machinery equipment, what's going to happen to PPF? We know that England can produce more, right? So what used to be infeasible now becomes feasible, right? So the PPF should be shifted outwards. In other words, something like this, okay? So this means the outward shift of the PPF. And we label this one as the PPF post industrial revolution. Okay. Again, um, the economy can produce more. Okay. So they push out their uh, frontier or their potential okay now this is a good example of using ppf to show the long-term economic growth and that's why we said that you know we want to talk about the ppf at this moment 
because it gives us a chance to continue talking about economic growth. It gives us a, a doorway um, it, which leads us to、um, the whole macroeconomic world. Okay. Now here,、um, let me switch back to the、um, PowerPoint slides、uh, because there's one more example I want to leave for you guys.、Um, To figure out. Now, in this example, we said a hypothetical economy produces only two goods, milk and computers. Now, half of its cows die due to an unknown disease. Okay. Again, you need to show the effect of this disease on a PPF graph. Okay. So、um, pull out a piece of paper and use your pencil to draw. And、um, during our、uh, virtual meeting, we're going to talk about it. Okay.